stands for Mine Resistant Ambush Protected. And what it is, is one big military, scary looking tank-like truck. Since 2007, the Pentagon has bought 25,000 of them, costing taxpayers $50 billion. But apparently they overbought, because now they're giving them to police departments across the country. The police department in West Lafayette, Indiana just acquired an MRAP from the U.S. military. A local councilman said that the acquisition made by police is fine. If they want to have a big truck, they can have a big truck, he said. Sure, why the hell not have military-grade equipment policing American citizens in Indiana? After all, police in Fort Pierce, Florida just got an MRAP. As an officer there put it, the military was pretty much handing them out to the police in different cities, and we got pushed through due to the violence in our city here. Lucky them? Bastrop, a town of just 75,000 souls in Texas, just got themselves an MRAP. It's a pretty peaceful town, actually, to the point where the sheriff's department actually admitted that they had no use for the MRAP. But as their department spokesperson put it, with today's society, there's no way the thing won't be used. Because apparently needing a military-grade tank in a small town is just inevitable? The Banning Police Department in California just got an MRAP. Residents were in an uproar about it. But not because it's a piece of war equipment in their town, but because local papers misreported that refitting it would cost 100 grand. Turns out it won't cost that much, so residents were appeased. South Lake Tahoe just scored an MRAP. They set it out for a paint job, according to their chief of police, so that it, quote, doesn't look like a military vehicle straight out of the National Guard. Yes, because a paint job will make a military vehicle with waist-high tires and armored windows and body panels seem as harmless as a Honda Accord. Yes, handing out military vehicles to small-town police just makes sense. We don't need these vehicles in Afghanistan or other war-torn regions. Where we really need them is in our local police departments. Because with the U.S. military's overspending, domestic spying, and constant lying, the real American war is being waged right here at home against our own citizens. Tonight, let's talk about that by following me on Twitter at The Resident.